Rishi, you are audible, but your voice is not clear. Convenience. Am I audible now? Yes, you are audible now. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so I will start uh, with. So uh, my name is Rishi Zayal, and uh, welcome to the fifteenth day of this uh, training program. I'm highly pleased to welcome you all to this training program. And uh, since we are learning newer and newer things with each passing day, and uh, thanks to the eminent guest speakers and uh, the organizers of this program, uh, today we have gathered over here so that we all can discuss and learn what is the current scenario in agriculture and what should our priorities be as far as agriculture is concerned. Uh, with the times changing, we need to evolve with equal pace so that our farming practices become more relevant, smart, and sustainable. To give us more information on the same, we have a very special uh, guest with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Akhilesh Kumar, founder and CEO of Eden Horticulture Services and the editor-in-chief of Eden Horti magazine. He's a specialist in plant molecular biology and spent, uh, spent almost 15 years on his academic research on transgenic development. Sir, uh, talking about your accomplishments, you have had a US patented project, several publications and book chapters on your name, and have delivered various oral presentations and speeches in national and international platforms. You worked in Israel too, and returned to India to start your own consultancy firm, the Eden Horticulture Services, and became an agripreneur. Sir, you are an expert in high-tech horticulture, crop clusters, and supply chain management, and are primarily involved in educating, empowering, and employing the needy people. We welcome you to this program, and I'm pretty much sure that you are really going to enlighten so many brains over here today. Please, sir, welcome and join the platform and share your thoughts and knowledge with us. Over to you, sir. Thanks, thanks a lot, Rishi. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, welcome, so, sir. I am, thanks. Thanks a lot. You're warm welcome and very warm introduction also. May I share my slide? Uh, yes, sir. Can you people see my slide? Yes, sir, definitely. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Myself, Dr. Kesh Kumar. I think my basic introduction has been given by Rishi. And I'm very thankful to Just Agriculture for giving me this platform to share my experience with you people. Uh, as per the title I have been given today to talk about the aeroponic technology, which is quite, you know, fascinating word in India nowadays, hydroponic, aeroponic. So uh, to be very you know, honest, aeroponic technology is only so far viable or you can apply it for the potato seed production. And uh, that's what I'm going to talk, potato seed production by using aeroponic technology or soilless media, or these are what you call hydroponic media, like a cocopit media, something like that, whatever name you want to give. Hydroponic generally is confined to the plants which is being grown in the running water. Soilless media is supposed to come under the cocopit media or any other soilless substance. But in India, generally soil is also people consider hydroponic. So it's a bit confusing, that's why I am highlighting here. So let's begin with my journey. I was a plant marker biologist and during my tenure, I want to share because I have been told that lots of people are coming from the academic or, you know, students here. So when I was doing my master, I was uh, doing uh, MSc in biotechnology and my specialization was the plant biotechnology. And that era, you know, transgenic BT cotton was introduced in India. And I believe in that time, 
कि प्रॉबेबली इन फ्यूचर ऑल द क्रॉप विल बी द ट्रांसजेनिक क्रॉप सो आई नीड टू परसू माई कैरियर इन द ट्रांसजेनिक रिसर्च और यू नो जेनेटिक मॉडिफाइड क्रॉप बट यू नो एज ए मैटर ऑफ फैक्ट आफ्टर टू डिकेट्स now apart from pt cotton no other crop has been commercialized in india so i realized that what i am studying and what i am doing it is not going to be commercialized so it is it will remain again the basic science so after doing my msc phd and then i was at ira pusa new delhi national research center on plant biotechnology then i got a scholarship for israel so during the whole my academic journey research i was basically a molecular bio my molecular biologist and i was working on the genetic engineering and then i came back to india i worked first and dozel center at karnal in haryana so after working over there during actually in israel i realized i need to do something translate the research rather than doing only the you know uh, publication based research so this is my academic journey and this is my journey internal journey started with the israel because you know the world leader in agri tech and i also realized ki whatever they are doing precision farming that need to be replicated or that has to be happen in india because our farming is still very primitive but again there are many challenges in agriculture copy and paste does not work so whatever we are doing in israel we cannot copy in uh, india as such so uh, after coming back and after working with the government department of haryana horticulture department i realized uh, farmer they do not get hand holding support in india means somebody want to do something but he is not getting the specific knowledge at his own place if you are going to that place only then the people are able to tell you so when i was working in haryana many other people used to ask me can you help me can you come at this places and i want to do similar kind of thing but i had no liberty so first thing i did i break that boundary and i became a private entity currently i am sitting in gujarat in the kutch near gandhi dham here i am doing one projects so this is one uh, job we started under our firm project consultancy then i realized in one day in one month or in one year i can reach only the small segment of people and i have to outreach to maximum people so i started eden horti magazine also and then i realized in agriculture learning by seeing is the best practice as long as i will give you the powerpoint presentation you may not able to learn but the moment i will take you to the some aeroponic working of functional unit you will be able to learn better so that's why i started exposure with it and then i still being a scientist this is my soul new r and d applied r and d i have to do so i always think and try to get some kind of innovative project also so whatever my journey has been this two images can i can depict you all my you know extraction of the knowledge horticulture sector you know it is there is no minimum support price same tomato is being sold at 5 rupees kg same tomato will be one day in 100 rupees kg so that is the biggest challenge in the horticulture sector and these two diagram which you are seeing this is only one month difference one is march and another year april so how the temperature hit right now you can see what is the temperature in the north india so we cannot grow the horticulture crop right now whatever the crop in delhi market is coming it is coming either from uttarakhand or himachal pradesh so those farmer from october till uh, april they were growing tomato or something they were getting the less price but those farmer they will grow tomato now they will be making more income and those kind of farmer are sitting in the solan kullu lahol so this kind of uh, pattern you need to understand if you go delhi a supply chain from one place you cannot grow across the year the crop so you need to understand the horticulture is a secret or it is totally based on the temperature and humidity and under the protected cultivation or precise agriculture we are trying to manipulate these two things so that we can grow the off season crop once we will be able to grow the off season crop then only we will be able to face the better price in the market if you are growing anything in the season you will not get the better price so this one thing you need to learn and you have to plan your project select your location very wisely after doing proper research then only you can be a successful entrepreneur another thing what i realized this picture you can see right now our agriculture minister is uh, in his right and this news i read some on uh, you know is very renowned media and this box you can see 
they have mentioned ki our minister is visiting neta team in infrastructure the kibbutz and he is being acquainted with the cotton sugar cane and paddy cultivation on trip irrigation the israeli people are going and they are showing him i have been in israel almost 5 years i have never seen anybody in israel is growing sugar cane or the paddy but the reality in the media something they are writing and quoting like this this is the biggest problem today our youth is struggling to get the right scientific and applied information of you can say practical information what happened google youtube we read something and we believe this is true and i need to start it never do like this you are young people do the proper research understand the you know swot analysis understand your strength weakness challenges and then only you try to invest the money without the proper research never try to do any projects so immediately if i have seen my past 2010 to 15 i was there but maybe i am wrong uh, in last 5 years they have started to grow so immediately i confirmed with my israeli partner and i asked him you can see the whatsapp chat and he said no sugar cane no rice cotton maybe they are basically demonstrating only for cultivation <laughs> so these are the uh, basic crop in israel which they are growing on the drip so i just want to convey the message what is the scientific and uh, you know realistic information on news you have to cross it everything in the media is not correct now th that was a negative side now that one positive side i want to say this fellow uh, from uttar pradesh in farukhabad he was in africa he was doing uh, kind of after an sc biotech he did mphil and after getting exposure of african culture uh, r&d and ecosystem he decided to come back india and started own potato seed production and now he is doing very good business so what happened whenever you are going back to yeah, you going for in any country you should understand the what is local need in india and you have to understand the our our basic need rather than imposing our technology or ever product you first identify the gap and problem statement western up is a hub of the potato cultivation and this fellow realized the potato farmer is struggling with the quality seed production so that's why he came back after doing biotech he started to do the plant tissue culture and he is growing the seeds and selling to the farmer and he is having good revenue so now come to the potato uh, topic today as you know this potato is one of the staple crop after uh, wheat paddy and corn this is the fourth crop which is being widely used across the globe and among vegetable this is most staple crop and uh, whatever is normal uh, you know statistic more than 32% potato is being grown in uttar pradesh and uh, as you know the lots of states they consume potato and uh, if you see the our uh, domestic production is around 54 billion metric ton per year but in india our consumption of potato is only 54 billion metric ton uh -huh. so the uh -huh. country is that already india is producing 10 million metric ton potato extra and that is a problem our universities our uh, agriculture institutes always educating farmer towards the production led extension but i believe in india production is not a big issue always we start first and this is growing population and we have to keep actually making more production is becoming a big problem for our uh, farming community for example uh, net house and poly house people are growing widely uh, seedless to come back. and now today if you go ajapur or jaipur or you know in haryana farmer are getting hardly 8 rupees kg to come back like and they are going seedless cucumber the same cucumber it is being sold around for plus some time so you need to understand this dynamic when you are sowing your plant when you are harvesting what kind of price you will be getting in the market this is a art without doing market survey you can never calculate the actual roi of your product so we have a tax body of the potato research is a cpri central potato research institute in simla and they have developed some kind of potato uh, seeds but the challenge here from shimla you cannot multiply so many potato and you can give all the farm and our farmer side concerned is that 
they are always buying potato growing potato and selling potato they are never learning how to rather than growing potato it's better to grow potato seed and make a better price a better income those kind of knowledge our farmers are ready do not have and that's why he is clever so this is a one map in india you can see uh, most of the potato is being grown in the gangetic plain this is river ganga and this is assam uh, west bengal and this is assam and you know in brahmaputra also is a river bank i have done my phd from calcutta west bengal so i can tell you in west bengal uh, most of the people even in the non veg also or even egg curry also they add potato but in up bihar here when they are cooking non veg they do not add potato so our geographical location that decide not only the crop even the food habit also so you need to understand here they are growing lots of potato and here also they are growing potato in punjab also now the uh, funny part these people they cannot grow potato seed neither assam nor west bengal and these people they always get the potato from the punjab now why it is so punjab is like a of course north you know india is a tropical and subtropical country so in punjab the winter is coming early and then we are getting the good season for the potato seed production and after that up and haryana so in this start the first harvest come from the punjab that's why in the month of november and december what new potato you are getting in the market that is from the punjab so why in january by the time the temperature hit and aphids come the aphids will come like saps of insect the secondary infection will come the virus so punjab is the best place for the potato seed production if you will try to make the potato seed production in the bengal so what will happen here temperature is not very low so here aphids will come and when aphid will come then you will get disease uh, potato seed so these are the exoclimatic zone that's why all the uh, punjab is leading in the potato seed now haryana has come up with the potato seed production so i i, I will take the call the question later i think some people are raising the hand let me finish this presentation uh so this is a normal potato seed now you can see here some places in the south karnataka some but the small scale they are growing potato wherever they are getting the rabi season or you can say the required temperature window for the potato cultivation if you are growing potato anywhere the tuber or stolent formation will not happen as long as your temperature is not below 20 suppose any location you are trying to grow potato and the stolent temperature is uh, always remain you know more than 20 so it will not form the tuber this is a one thing you need to remember so night temperature has to be below 20 that's why what is the right time of potato sowing you have to see the climate and then only you have to start and plan your date of sowing now interesting part is here gujarat you know macken is one company they have conducted seven year trial across india seven years that you need to understand how the private sector they plan the business and do uh, start a business and they have found ki gujarat is the best place for the potato cultivation especially the processing variety and that's why you can see last 7 uh, 8 years this this uh, mahsana district has become a potato hub in india and the funny part if you see haryana and up our potato productivity it is around 20 to 22 ton per hectare and in uh, gujarat it is 46 ton per hectare so you can see uh, uh, just by changing the location how productivity is uh, changing why it is so why our seed sowing here in october and we are harvesting in the month of march and april so what will happen during the month of december and january most of the time we are having foggy climate during the winter so plant they do not get the sufficient sunlight so less sunlight means less photosynthesis less photosynthesis means a small tuber similarly when you go in here in the gujarat the, the night temperature is not more below the 10 it will be more than 10 or 20 so tuber formation will be there there is no fog here so what will happen plenty of sunlight is available plenty of sunlight means plenty of photosynthesis so much better 
silver you will get another factor you will uh, the here the soil is sandy so whatever irrigation you are giving the water is percolating down so your tuber will be getting less water and that is a one desired trait in the processing variety potato the water content should be less because during the processing you have to remove the water and you have to get maximum dry matter and here what will happen in up what we are going it is only the table purpose so what you are getting uh, eating in the uh, you know kitchen that is a table purpose potato and when you are eating french fry or chips those are the processing variety another reason is the reducing sugar sometimes you might have heard in the market they call it a sugar free potato it's potato is all having a star but if you are having less reducing sugar or processing variety that is considered as a processing variety it's sorry too... for the interruption sir uh, actually yeah. your voice somewhere in between is getting uh, messed up i think there is some problem with uh, the mic or something with like that i hope now you can see better yeah sir so somewhere uh, like in, in between it's like varying with like low and high pitch is there okay i will try not to move probably i am moving to that right okay sorry okay. for the interruption sir please continue no, no it's, it's okay so uh, yeah these are some parameters which you need to understand between the processing variety and the table purpose variety so like this for the one two three four these are the processing variety what french fry you are eating in the kfc those are the soletta or lr variety lady rosetta that has come from the europe so those all the processing variety and uh, we have to your kufri kufra jyoti kufri barsa all these are table purpose variety so you need to understand which potato seeds our farmer is growing so if you will try to make the potato chips from the table purpose like in the month of holi if you make the in north india when you will fry it you will find that due to maillard reaction the potato is having the dark circle some potato become dark on the periphery so it means those variety is not a processing variety but once you eat the lace chips then you will see this is a total you know, yellow color or something there is no black circle so this this is the difference between the processing and this thing now you can see the not only the sunlight even the soil texture also that decide your productivity like uttarakhand has the temperature but uttarakhand soil is very hard so when this it is very hard so tuber formation will be the less one plant can hardly give you five to six tuber but in haryana up or punjab from same plant you can get eight to ten tuber and if you can be more to the gujarat you will find much even more than that tuber so that's why this Uh, pink color dark green color light green color all these things are there so this is because of soil texture so you can understand how one crop is having so many dynamics at different location different places so this way agriculture is you know govern the productivity now come to the potato value addition as i said if we are having surplus production why our farmer is not making money because farmer they do not get the understand the value addition he do not get the requisite seed he doesn't know where to sell the product so here you see farmer concern is agri company insurance bank because in potato 40% cost is the potato seed and potato seeds are very expensive so this is the biggest concern for our farming community an uh, agri input company and storage uh, services is not available so what happen when farmer is growing potato and they are working with the contact with the pepsi or some other company so this company are providing him seeds and the company is making an agreement ki i will buy your product ya potato after harvesting only once you will buy the seeds from us so there is a company monopoly so that's why for the seed also come farmer has to go to the company and once he will harvest the product he will uh again go back to the company so this is a kind of system and that's why this private company they make the good income from potato seed now you can see the potato uh, different I, i i wanted to show you the india is standing here we are in tropical and subtropical okay so here you can see our climate and temperate country potato is basically some people you go neither land you know go the european country here you can see different kind of crop window their crop cycle is much more than they are going during summer we are going in the winter i just want to see the global perspective 
ki each and every location why it cannot be stained we are going for tattoo in winter they are going in the summer because most of the time there will be the snowfall their photo period is 9 to 11 hour they have 40 to 16 hour that's why their product is much more than us and but whenever you are looking for any advanced technology you have to keep in mind this chart indian climate is can be similar to the israel or like this but it cannot be similar to the holland or some other european country so accordingly you uh, you know customize your technology these are some my publication which i did in tobacco uh, glycol cloud metabolism i am not going into those details i isolated to some tuber place specific promoter also gene silencing and potato skin development by using silica but once i came back to india and after having all these academic research i see a potato farmer is facing this kind of problem so being a developing country we need to work as a farmer need rather than just doing publication of patent so then i realized how i can tackle this problem and uh, how our farmer income can be doubled then i realized that potato seed is a big constraint and the same potato crop when farmer is growing he is not able to make the money but same potato practice a business private sector is doing they are making a huge profit there are many companies they are making good, good business from potato in the same country this is all because of potato seed supply and the processing infrastructure so i realized that i need to do something applied rather than doing the cosmetic side this is a basic you can see the potato consumption as i said uh, somewhere we are here now so 45 we are making 55 or 54 million metric ton potato our productivity but our land resources will remain same of course we need for increasing population but rather than doing futuristic demand right now we have to tackle our potato grower is not making money so first we have to look the current rather than the future okay, how we can improve the income of our potato grower these the are the some only the information how we can increase the productivity for the growing demand so now come to the potato seed how it start and how we make so you know the tissue culture for any disease uh, free uh, seed production you need a sterilized material and that comes from the apical stem because that is virus free and whole year in the tissue culture lab we multiply it and you can get this kind of in vitro plant from cpr is similar there are more than 50 variety of potato you can go they are having germplasm and being a private entrepreneur one culture tube they generally charge 5000 rupees you may buy as many as you want and you bring to your laboratory and you try to multiply it for the rest of the season once a tuber will come then only you can transplant into the field and here once you will make the aeroponic structure you this seed will call g0 seed once this mini tuber will harvest you will grow in the net house because we have to grow in the insect free mid uh, condition so that no virus could come in our seed so here we call g1 seed whatever you will harvest and after that g2 seed and then foundation one and foundation two and certified this is just chain so any new variety like uh, maybe you people might be knowing now uh, kufri neel kant one variety has come which is a purple in color but the farmer will get seed only after seven years because one generation it will move in four months and then next one will be the next year this is the biggest problem every year we can move only one generation so this is the cycle of the potato seeds so now if we, i can give you a flow chart it's a tissue culture lab where you are just multiplying the potato plant you are just cutting internode and you just multiply it and once from five plant you can make five lakh 10 lakh as many seven time you can multiply it and then you will make in aeroponic assembly like uh, in the close and pet system because no insect should come and then in by aeroponic technology you can lift and you can harvest the mini tuber this is like this and uh, then this mini tuber will go in the greenhouse and you will make a foundation one and foundation two this is a cycle which farmer doesn't do farmer take the seeds from here and then is grow the crop and he, what will happen suppose 100 bags he has harvested 80 bags he will sell in the market 20 bag he will keep in the cold store and next year again he will go uh, use the same material for the next crop cycle like so what happened the farmer is not changing the seeds and if you will not change your seed your no uh, 
it will be not a disease resistant and the productivity will be done less. And another thing, farmer in Uttar Pradesh, they cut the potato and then they sow. You should never do like this. These are some bad practices because of cost cutting. We are adopting these kind of practices. And in the general farmer, they do not get very higher productivity and they do not get very uh, disease resistance. Most of the time, you will find the virus infected feet they are growing because he doesn't know virus indexing how to do, how to verify the reliable and good quality seeds. I hope my voice is okay now, or still it's having some problem. Yes, sir. So now, whatever I talk, I want to confine in one slide. If you see how it is more economical, what I'm talking. I am suggesting, rather than going potato, you focus on the potato seed. So latest variety of uh, potato you can get from the a government recognized lab like a CPR similar. If you are having your own tissue culture lab, then fine. Otherwise, you can discuss with some kind of uh, other tissue culture lab and you do the multiplication. Or from tissue culture lab only, you can get the in vitro plant because opening a tissue culture lab is also good investment. So suppose you do not have that investment, then just go and buy the in vitro plant ready for the transplantation. And then you are making a rather aeroponic unit or you are using smallest media. When you grow the tuber in the aeroponic unit and you are harvesting those tuber that we call a breeder seed, and that one breeder seed, six rupees, if it is stable purpose, if it is a processing variety, you can uh, sell one tuber, eight to 10 rupees. You can understand one small tuber like a per, that cost is eight to 10 rupees. What farmer is selling one kg potato, that is have no value. Anyway, if you cannot do this thing, okay, come to the next generation, next cycle. One acre, 40,000 tuber, like mini tuber. You have to put in the net house and you can harvest the crop and these tuber we call foundation one. And this tuber, foundation one, is generally being sold around 50 to 52 rupees per kg because this is not potato for eating. These are potato seeds. And total aid from 40,000 tuber, you can get around 100 tuber. So this is also very good income. So you do not have upper infrastructure here. You just go and buy from bidder feed, put one net house, multiply from bidder to foundation one, and sell in the market, or sell it to some company. You work for them, and you can get a very good potato price for your farm. And after that, if you are foundation one, you are buying, and you are making foundation two, then these seeds price can be sold around 30 to 32 rupees. And here, one acre you need a 40 quintal seeds and 120 to 140 quintal you can have. And even after that fourth year, 40 quintal, 14 quintal if you are putting the seeds and whatever harvesting, that will be the certified seed. And that can easily sold 15 to 16 rupees per kg, table per fajal. This farmer is buying, they are growing in their field. And then they are selling in the market at four to five or seven rupees as per the variety, as per the season. If you are harvesting early, then you are getting better price. If you are harvesting in the month of March, the price will be less. The farmer, what does? He put in the cold storage and he waits as long as my price will be better, then only I will take from the cold storage. Because harvesting will be only in the month of March and April, but potato in the market, 12 year months we are eating. So this kind of stuff people, they put in the cold storage. So now the thing is that whether you want to work like a farmer here, or you want to work as an entrepreneur in the above society. So as per your planning, as per information, as your knowledge, you can make the more money. And we need to educate our farmer because sometimes government is giving lots of, uh, you know, financial support. And they want to go, farmer should join hand and they should help us to multiply the potato seed. Because in India, we are able to make only 8% of potato seed requirement. We are not able to make potato seed as much as we require. In generally, every year, 25% seed replacement rate should be there. But in India, we are hardly making less than 0.8% uh, seed replacement. So there is a huge scope of this potato seed industry. So this is another way you uh, want somebody. This is a micro plant. This is a micro plant came to the net house condition. Here they will grow. And here we harvest the mini tuber. Traditional method. Now latest technology has become aeroponic. So this step we are doing in the aeroponic. I will tell why we are doing aeroponic and what are advantages. 
and uh, then this seeds come to the open field condition first multiplication second multiplication and this is the certified seed this is the ultimate potato seed cycle and here just uh, how you make the multiplication interlot condition like this you just multiply all the solonaceae family tomato potato tobacco it's very easy for the transformation potato multiplication is not at all very tough it's very easy anyone can do it so this is explained we use and we multiply seven to eight cycle and you increase your number of in vitro plant and that will be ready for the either aeroponic or the solid media growth now this is kind of potato productivity which i told in the plain and hill in that earlier picture because in hilly areas soil is very tough hard but in the plain region is having sandy soil that's why gangetic plain because of gangetic plain soil is very sandy so it is having more productivity same region in the west bengal and the brahmaputra in assam so that's why these area is having but or in gujarat because of sandy soil and uh, if you see the productivity affected the late blight seed uh, quality seeds and other region this is some kind of uh, yield loss otherwise we can achieve that much loss now as you know india is a huge uh, we have around 15 agroclimatic zone so different places is having different crop cycle of potato somewhere it is the uh, you know early sowing like uh, sowing curry it is possible only in the himachal so in himachal people in during the summer in hilly area they will do the sowing early we are here in september october early this is a punjab region and this is a up region so you can see as per their crop cycle some variety growing in 100 days some in 120 days so we harvest and accordingly we store in the and then we supply across the year so this kind of crop cycle supply chain management of potato you need to understand i know in this training the lots of students coming from different background and different states so you can understand which crop cycle will fit for you and now come to the after pre harvest come to the post harvest so potato many country having different protocol in india just to reduce the you know operational cost you know uh, electricity cost they put uh, at 10 to 12 degree centigrade but, uh, for the consumption but potato seeds that always we store at 2 to 4 degree centigrade so the storage of potato seed is more expensive than the storage of the table purpose potato in israel they keep 7 to 10 degree centigrade so each and every country is having different different protocol and uh, of course the uh, humidity is more than 90% there should be otherwise the potato moisture loss will be there and co2 concentration is also important it should not be more than 1% this is one of the biggest concern in potato industry in india uh, you may know cipc if you are bringing potato from the market keeping in your kitchen sometime it will start sprouting and it happen in the cold storage also so cold storage people what they do they put the cipc treatment is kind of chemical compound isopropyl and chlorophenyl carbamate that what does it will burn the uh, is i through the mechanism of apoptosis so the sprouting will be not there so you can increase the storage cycle the storage period of the potato and it's very uh, low cost but if you go abroad in israel in europe country this is a ban and they say it's a carcinogenic and we should not consume it but in india nobody is talking about it whatever potato storage you are getting uh, from cold storage all those are treated with the cipc system so this is a work concern being a budding entrepreneur you have to see if there is a organic people are making so much money whether can you provide a cipc free potato to our consumer and can you get the better price so this is a one uh, you know business scope for you. so how we can increase the potato farmer income to table site selection as i said there should be not uh, a feed uh, prone area you know temperature there is no should be insect because one a feed will suck the leaf the cell sap will come out and virus will get inside certified seed quality that farmer they do not get in india productive processing variety like ala lazy rosetta solentum they do french fry up kfc mein kha rahe you will not get those seeds very easily in india the monopoly of the processing industry so you need to work on those variety micro irrigation as i said if you are putting flood irrigation due to more water more humidity more humidity mean more fungal infection late blight early blight this kind of things come if you are using micro irrigation technology 
less less water less humidity less dg then nutrient management also this is a big uh, you know important role in the tuber formation and the product tuber side i know i have been to northeast they are they do not get the good potato side because they do not have sufficient phosphorus because they are doing organic practice this is also one of the concern sowing and harvesting methodology whether you are doing by manual or by machine weather station and crop management information and communication technology what we call iot i will give you some example grading and sorting whether you are going small tomato potato and big potato together or you are selling in the market after doing the you know different grading then packaging and transport earlier they used to use you know jute bag but now gurry bag is being used now wooden box is being used so lots of evolution or lots of you know gradation is happening so you need to understand and the tuber treatment as i said tip is one of the big concern so what is our main problem low productivity because farmer they do not good good quality seed and another thing lots of uh disease problem because climate is changing even in the punjab now winter is very narrow and so punjab seed is getting very you know uh, virus infection very frequently so we need to cope up with the climate change also this is kind of one iot device what we call soil and tunnel so this is kind of plastic tuber you just put in the potato field it's from a hole and and uh, what will happen it will measure your uh, temperature soil moisture and co2 level so whether you put at the field need irrigation you can configure with your mobile and it will tell you you okay, know the soil moisture has been reduced you have to irrigate your field so you can give the precise irrigation the temperature also accordingly and the best part you have to harvest it along with the normal potato tuber it is like a pro it will be also harvested along with the tuber it will be also going in the machine so it will give you how much pressure it is getting you know by machinery also so it should not get a much more physical damage whether you are dumping like in india you know we the uh, lifting and we dump it so those kind of things should not happen and then uh, once it is stored in the bag inside the cold storage generally most of the farmer they say my potato crop has vanished because you have not maintained the temperature and cold storage owner will say no temperature was good i don't know your potato was bad so this is a kind of hard empire you can give all the tracking what temperature was there in which state you can get the alarm if he is cutting the power to save the energy you can immediately can to know he is just cheating me and the temperature is now more than 10 degree or 15 degree so you can go and check your potato crop similarly when potato crop is growing you have no idea what is the right time to harvest this is kind of algorithm where you can you know harvest some sample like a scotting put the tuber take the picture and you can get a estimated yield of your field crop and you can make the decision whether this is the right time to harvest my crop or i should wait for the more tuber development because the price is very you know fluctuating so in horticulture crop you have to be smart enough to know whether i have to sell 5 kg potato at 50 rupees rate or i want to sell 50 kg potato at 5 rupees rate so th- those kind of decision or smart decision you can take by using such kind of thing similarly the processing industry sometime if your irrigation is not in your form so uh, this is starch and this segregation of soil moisture will be not uniform so they degrade it by using iot machine if it will be having more reducing sugar it will be like a uh, dark blue like something like that so we want uniform like this kind of phase type so we can do the random sampling and you can make a grading of 0 1 2 3 4 and you can make a price or you know bidding of the farmer producer because all potato will look similar but which potato is good for your processing how you will judge so this kind of some devices you can use similarly after cutting the uh, longitudinal section and all those things you can judge this internal how uniform it is this is uh, for the solentum variety when you make a french fry so this kind of parameter is important you can get more detail on youtube it's this solentum.com mahindra and get pc they are working with them in india so this much information i wanted to give you related to iot now come to the aeroponic as i said the traditional method in the at the greenhouse they grow like this but in the aeroponic technology this is styrofoam and he because you can control the microclimate so in that microclimate now you can take more than 
one crop cycle uh, potato. If you see this picture, how it works, this is a mister here, pipe, which gives you NPK spray here. This is a potato crop here. And here it will be hanging root and there will be the stolen. So you, ha you have now multiple harvesting, like a tomato. Generally, in the tuber crop, you are doing single harvesting. Aeroponic technology is giving opportunity. You can have a multiple harvesting as per the choice. Because we want all potato tuber at uniform size. And that is a technology which is giving you the facility. You can pick and choose as per your desired size. And other thing, electrical control and all pump and everything will be there. If you see, it will be assembly like this. This is from Haryana, Shamgar. This is 1200 square meter unit of potato seed production. This is a local styrofoam, this kind of mixture. And this is a closed system from all the sides. And we have fan fed system inside. And so that we can control the temperature and humidity. And once the plant will be growing, we will lift it and we can harvest the tuber like this. This is all the aeroponic technology flow chart. This is from Punjab. So now the first tuber which potato plant made because a light tuber. A light tuber will be always you know, bigger in size. And other tuber, as per the formation, there will be the size. So now this is the optimal size. So this is the benefit of aeroponic technology. And once you will harvest this thing, what will happen? Whatever metabolite will come, now it will be evenly distributed to the rest of the tuber. If you will not harvest, this tuber will take more metabolite and the rest tuber will be remain small. So it's like a side irrigation. So you can do the getting itself in vivo plant. So this is a cycle you can see potato seed, and here is a red skin potato also. So what is why aeroponic? Higher multiplication rate. Soil pathogen nahi honge because if you are making such kind of seed production in the soil, you will be having lots of soil borne disease. It will be cost effective because you are having much more uh, plant density per square meter, plus you are having multiple harvesting. In vitro plant collection is coming to so disease free, and it is more water saving and sustainable, and desired size of mini tuber is what I was trying to explain. If suppose somebody do not have those much infrastructure, it's very costly. You can use normal cocoa peat media also here, and you can put uh, breeder seed production in the cocoa peat media also. Now you can see this is a when you are going to dissolve in the soil, and this is a microtuber by using aeroponic technology. So what eight to twelve plant microtuber you are getting here? You are getting forty to fifty-five microtuber per plant, and this is a per square meter. Because density is also more. You are lifting and harvesting. This is the advantage of aeroponic technology. These are the, some publications uh, related to potato. And if you see, means I, I always say you have to identify the which problem you want to work. Uh, forget about the tomato and potato. I just focus on the potato. How much harvest we uh, post harvest loss we are having? 3.2%, 0.7%, 2.2% grading, sorting, packaging, transportation. And uh, you know, farm level storage and go down before storage, almost wholesale storage. So like this, these are the storage. So if you can total loss nine percent is almost total loss. So you can identify which problem you want to work. The, each commodity is having long supply chain management. So as per your location, as per your flock cluster, as per your business model, as per your investment, as per your interest, you have to identify the problem and then you have to work. So sorry, I have limited time. So whatever I could convey the, within the limited time, I tried to share with you people. Uh, I would be more than happy to if you have any uh, question related to this potato, transonic, or any other aeroponic, hydroponic, whatever uh, is open to all now. And I think I can stop share and we can interact with each other. Yeah. Yes. Am I audible, sir? Yes, yes, I can. You are audible, Rishi. Please tell me. Uh, thank you, sir, for this uh, beautiful lecture. It was indeed very informative and uh, full of uh, knowledge, and uh, it, it was really a beautiful lecture. So, uh, talking about the questions, sir, there are certain yeah. questions coming up from the audience. So, now, first of all, I would like to know about the uh, uh, seed production that you were talking about. Uh, we in seed production, basically, you are uh, developing. Uh, you are using the aeroponic technique, and then you are transferring the seeds to uh, soil basically, then you are uh, producing the next uh, like different generation. So whether that can be done entirely through aeroponics, like entire seed production through aeroponics only, can that be done? No, 
no you have to see economics only the breeder seed or micro tuber seed i told 8 to 10 rupees you can get for small tuber after that the seeds are being put in the terms of the parity so you have to be very smart with the cost economy i yes, have seen sir. some places they are trying to you can grow lettuce you can grow marigold uh, uh, catrenta some other kind of medicinal plant in aeroponic you should never jump like this you have to see the cost economy aeroponic technology is only viable for the breeder seed product not for any other uh, foundation one foundation two. never try to do it is because yes. those seed will be bigger size will be heavy it is not made for that and i yes. always see the most of the newspaper when they uh, make the news about the aeroponic technology ab hawa mein ugega alu these are the you know means misleading headline you have to tell this is the breeder seed production by using aeroponic technology this is only for the breeder seed production not for other seed production or for the uh, you know consumption purpose it is not a jo yes. seed 500 rupees kilo mil le uske liye main karodo ka investment to karunga Yes, yes, sir. And sir, uh, how do you uh, prevent the seedlings from uh, diseases? Like when we are growing to, we, we are growing through micro propagation technique, and then we using aeroponics, and then we are transferring to soil. So, isn't it uh, like difficult for the seedlings to uh, get adjusted to the soil environment uh, taken up from uh, the micro propagated and the aeroponic environment? Yeah, that is a very good question. Uh, that's why uh, I um, uh, first thing you used to do. There are many preventive things. first you need to identify the location punjab has been identified the best location for the potato seed production because you have to see any crop uh, when winter is coming after summer means uh, when temperature is sudden i think aphid will come like uh, if you see the mustard crop also lots of aphids will come after 26 january so that will become very critical so what happen when you are going the seed production then you have to work with the coordination of the state seed agency so what will happen they will be looking very minutely the weather chart of that area and the moment they will there is a process called scouting one compound leaf should not have more than 25 dp so if any such situation come so suppose you are progressive farmer you are making potato seed you will get the immediately message do the holination so you have to put some kind of herbicide you have to remove all the leaf so that the virus cannot spread once yes. some aphids has come to the leaf now its cell site is oozing out virus will be coming and this is very common problem from virus you cannot see with the naked eye you have seen pandemic was so difficult to control so what is the potential of virus you need to understand so once father is buying to another location taking from punjab and only in the field he will realize now leaf is turning now potato or dd so you whenever you are buying any potato you should ask for the tagging you should do the virus indexing there are 30 different kind of viruses in the potato and you yes. can pay the fees and they will do the pcr polymer chain reaction like a covid test and they will tell you whether your seeds are free from any virus or it is having some kind of virus infection so these things actually pharma doesn't know and most of the companies they are cheating but once educated people they will come into such kind of business i am sure they can you know control this kind of uh, what is the bad practices is going in the potato seed industry yes sir thank you sir and sir you also talked about the antennas for the real time uh, advisory uh, system as real time advisory system so you you just told us that they are to be placed with in, within the soil with potatoes so when we are unearthing the potatoes for use so isn't there any uh, like isn't there any uh, damage to uh, the, the the device while unearthing for the potatoes you see there are many devices if you are working with the soil and i said once for let them There is a like a soil tensometer also that can give you the soil moisture, but that will not measure the uh, CO2 concentration. It cannot configure with your mobile. This kind of IoT device has been developed by the developed country like a European country. I would be more than happy if our IITians will come up and they will work with our scientists to develop such kind of thing. I am uh, advisor of some IoT based company. They calculate by using satellite camera and they calculate how much. Rate of water transpiration has happened. Means how much water has been released from your field. So your water will be uh, coming in the form of vapor, either from the transpiration, whatever leaf, and whatever the rate of evaporation from the soil. So as much water you are leaving, releasing from your field, 
that means water has to be supplemented through the irrigation. So there are lots of technologies there, but again, we need to be very you know cautious whether it will be having a, a, you know cost economic term, whether farmer will avail these services. And I think our uh, agriculture, the KVKs, these kind, kind of things should be the government supported. So we can make an advisory rather than farmer cannot avail these services. There are many IoT companies like Propin, Agrometric, uh, even some Israeli companies working like Manna Irrigation. They all just they are playing with the putting the data. But you have to understand our farmer is already having a, so much agri food cost and very poor price. He is not able to meet the rate of cost of cultivation, whether he can avail some kind of devices. So that's why I think we need to work as a team and whatever information from you are getting, we have to give farmer a free of cost as an advisory. There are the technology, no doubt, but the cost justification is one big challenge in our uh, you know, farming community. Yes. Thank you, sir. I think you have almost answered all the related questions with this one answer only. So uh, now I think it's over. Uh, I would like to thank you for being with us and sharing your uh, knowledge and thoughts with us. And it was indeed a very informative lecture, sir. And we hope to uh, meet uh, uh, with you in upcoming uh, sessions also, in upcoming programs also. So uh, thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, Thanks, a lot, Thanks a lot, Thanks a lot, organizers, for giving me a good opportunity to interact with you people. And anyone having any additional questions, they can drop me to my mail ID. I'll be more than happy to, you know, back and if you will call. I'll try my best to answer those questions. Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. Pleasure is all ours, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, so uh, this was Dr. Akhilesh, and he uh, described very beautifully about the uh, aeroponics uh, uh, cultivation, uh, aeroponics in potato cultivation. Now it's time for our next guest and next speaker. So uh, I would like to uh, hand over the stage to uh, Dr. Anshika. So uh, please, next host. Uh, uh, Dr. Anshika Can you hear me? Hello, sir. A very good evening, sir. Uh, okay, so over. Yes, yes. Okay. Please start uh, with your session. Okay, sir. Okay. A very good afternoon, good evening to all of you. A very good uh, uh, evening on the behalf of Just Agriculture e magazine. Myself, Anshika Kamboj, warmly welcomes you all to the session of 21 training, uh, International Training Come Workshop Program on a Futuristic Approach Towards Smart Agriculture and Sustainable. Farming. Uh, in few minutes, our guest will be joining us. Uh, in the meantime, I would be telling you about our uh, e-magazine. Uh, so, our magazine is an e-magazine which is providing a platform for the science to the scientists and millions of entrepreneurs to uh, share their ideas and thoughts. Uh, in India, most of the rising agriculture magazine, Just Agriculture, with more than 1.5 plus black readers in India, the magazine first issue was released in September 2020 with an objective of bridging the knowledge gap between farmers and scientists and transforming the youth, transforming farming and transforming the entrepreneur. The magazine first issue was released uh, uh, and the uh, uh, with the objective of bridging the knowledge and uh, filling the gap between the scientists and farmers. The magazine is providing the platform to all the researchers, students, scholars, and scientists to share their ideas about latest in, uh, innovative topics. This would help in disseminating scientist information and latest findings among the scientist community related to agriculture all over the world. As to the platform of our magazine, the objective is to reach make, uh, maximum earlier stages of innovation and entrepreneurs to transform the future of agriculture 
as huge readers across India with the objective of capture the bridge and innovative ideas, solutions to the field level problems and innovative research in agriculture sector are connected to and um, magazine and the newsletters. This is all about our agriculture, just agriculture magazine. So this will be there. Thank you, sir. So the next speaker has joined. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir, for your time. A very good evening to all of you. Uh, thanks for your patience. Uh, a very good evening on the behalf of Just Agriculture e-magazine. Myself, Anshika Kamboj, warmly welcomes our guest and the speaker of today's session, uh, Prakshit Sampat Sai, founder and CEO of Pranam Kisan, uh, Dr. DPS Badwal, organizing director of this international training come workshop program, committee members, and most importantly, all the participants of the 21 days international training come workshop program on a futuristic approach towards smart agriculture and sustainable urban farming. Before beginning this session, it's time to introduce our honorable speaker, Prakshit Sampat Sai, founder and CEO of Pranam Kisan. He is a farmer by birth and an agro entrepreneur by profession. He is 70 plus, 17 plus year in uh, rural India, traveled around 15 states, closely interact with approx 550,000 farmers worked with 300, uh, 300 uh, commissions, agents, uh, 5,000 seed and fertilized manufacturers, distributors, 100 subject matter uh, experts, scientists, etc. He had uh, done 22 fields and seven successful uh, pilot projects based on the uh, based on the soil to sale method in 10 states to validate the idea. He is deeply involved with the development of many software programs and automation solutions uh, for agribusiness, educational institutions, health care facilities, ERP solution, etc. He had successfully designed multi-dimensional projects for agri startup, B2B, B2C agri supply chain, irrigation department, cashless smart card project for dairy farmers, sustainable fashion and lifestyle projects herbal beauty and wellness, waste to energy products, and many more. He is passionately working as four cutting edge AI driven agri-tech farming as a service, a physical, physical platform focused on building a sustainable agriculture and rural economy. To facilitate all agribusiness stakeholders, there is a transformation in various processes of ruler credit with total transparency and total transparency. Powered by blockchain technology, it will provide end-to-end sale-to-sale solution for this farming community through a centralized internet central system. He also discovered this. Now, something about the Pranam Kisan, which is the company of the speaker. Uh, Kisan at AgriTech India Private Limited. Uh, has been working in the northern states of India since 2018 to strengthen the agriculture sector through a, through a profitable, sustainable model renowned for its state to the art of farming as a service. Physical platform to provide and to end sale to sale solutions to farming committee. Uh, community Pranam Kisan is working deeply to convert fossil fuel economy to biofuel economy, developing new technologies with partner organizations specialized in agriculture waste and plastic waste management with 0% of carbon emission. So without any further delay, we will now start the session. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you so much, Anshika, and thank you so much uh, that you 
the whole team of just agriculture who provide me this opportunity to interact with so many uh, uh, thoughtful people and the uh, energy which I can say that there are the, it's, it's all about the agriculture ecosystem that everybody, everybody is trying to build some sustainable agriculture establishments. And, uh, but I say that if, if uh, I'm just thinking that I'm not going to present, uh, I'm not giving the organizational presentation that what we achieve and this is our, uh, because as the, my, as per my introduction that I am, I am a, just a farmer and I'm a farmer who is not small and marginal, but I'm an aware farmer who, I'm, I'm an illiterate farmer who, who, who trying to uh, just organize this completely unorganized sector. I belong to Rajasthan, which is completely, uh, everybody know that there is, uh, that our land is all fertile land because we, we are very close to Haryana and Punjab border. But the almost 90% state is completely, uh, there is no water, the desert is there. And when, when, I, when I start the, uh, the agriculture, then that time the agriculture is I started not for uh, any kind of tax that for you know, to, to build my career or or anything else. I just do it. I just start it. I involve it because my father is doing it and uh, my family is involved in it. And we are good at it. There is I I never seen it when I grow up and I never seen any kind of problems with the farming community because when we if we talk about the farming community problems then. One thing you need to understand that the problem is not start or not for the the, the land holdings, not not with the big farmers. The problem is for small and marginal farmers who, who can't even uh, they they do farming not for passion. They are not passionate about the farming. They are uh, they are just doing survive. They are just doing it because of their survival. They uh, the, the I uh, can say that that I start uh, my journey to understand that how to organize this sector. And when I jump in and uh, when, when I saw my uh, neighbors or the state and neighborhood, uh, you can say that districts or ne my neighbor farmers, there are one thing is very common in almost everywhere in the India. Uh, and uh, I can say that I travel almost 15, till date I, can, uh, I already traveled 16 to 17 states, 17 states, I can say that. And but but uh, and when we uh, talk about solutions, everybody say that there is very much difference. That the, uh, almost every hundred kilometer there is difference of language, there is difference of climate conditions, and that uh, there is difference of any culture. So it's very difficult to organize it. But this is not the truth from my side. That, because there is common problem. That's very common problem for the farming community. No matter the farmer is belongs to Rajasthan, or no matter the farmer is belongs to Himachal or Odisha, no matter. The very common problem for the farmer is the farmer not get the right information on right time. The biggest problem. And the second problem is there is no transparency for the market, the market linkage where they, the farmer need to produce. All in between the chains, if I, I uh, go to explain the chain, then uh, I, uh, if there is time, I don't know how much time I, I, I have here. And if the organizers allow me, then I can also show the chain and the, the basic steps where I feel the problem is. Maybe it will help all everybody that or uh, people or I also that can uh, learn more from if anybody can add value in that. And do I have that much time? Can you can you please tell me so that I hello? Hello. So you may continue.
Right now it's good. I'm, I'm audible. I hope I'm audible. Yes, sir, you are audible. I'm, I'm sharing two, two things, which is, I think I can, if I share, then it will help to understand the learning. We get that. Hope the screen, everybody can see the screen. Actually, Pranam Kishan is completely, we are working on a farming as a service uh, platform. Because, because farmer by farmer, we are at the same. The basic problem there is seven steps for each and everywhere in agriculture without any bound, foundation of the area boundaries or climatic zones. This is for common problems for the industry, in the farming community. This is for startups, this is for agri business supply chains, this is for farmers. These points need to understand for everyone. This is first is farmer training and awareness program. It means that the, as I earlier uh, I explained it, that the biggest problem is that farmer need the right information on five time, which is not available. They they get the information, some from government side, some awareness uh, agencies or anybody, some NGOs or institutions. <coughs> Sorry. There is some, uh, but that is not uh, appropriate or that is not organized. <clears throat> so, so the awareness about the current status, the farmers, the awareness about the, the, the policies and the schemes provided by the government. Same information, the next jumping is the crop advisory. What to grow? When to grow? How everybody is teaching the farmers how to do farming, which is from as per my experience. I'm not saying that I am everywhere, I'm correct on I'm not stuck on that. If anybody is there who can correct me also, I'm open for that. But as per my experience, which is a little long, and there is the, 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 the biggest problem is everybody is trying to teach the farmer how to do farming. That is not necessarily, that is not even not even the relevant because farmers know how to do farming. Actually, the need is what and when. That is the issue for the farmers. What they need to grow. What is the requirement of market? So because the farmer don't have the information, right information on right time. That that uh, the upcoming what is the market future market or what is the demand from the market side the farmer always doing the farming to check or to to influence by the their neighbors their their, their fellow farmers if one farmer some gets some good crop on tomato then the all fellow farmers just jump in for the tomato they don't know the what is the price when to be grow and what is the, what we do for with that but they almost jump in. Then next is that there is the, the problem when we uh, check the timing and the advisory and the application. The next problem is the quality agri input. There is availability of the agri input, yes, but how to measure the quality? Because the most of the sellers who provide the input to them, then that is the play of commission. Any agency, any company who give more commission to the agent. So everybody is trying to sell the product. Don't, no matter there is quality. They, they commit so many things, but the result is very negative. Normal farmer, uh, marginal farmer don't know about the equipment and mechanization. They, they don't afford it. They, they, they are not, um, uh, the, not approach the machines and equipment are not approachable for the small and marginal farmers. They are dependent on the, the market and the, the people who do it on rent or the big farmers who provide them the information. So everybody depend on that. There is teams, there is uh, CHC centers from the government side, but the service is not, uh, not available because again, it's everybody's interlinked. 
because there is not a complete information and uh, awareness for the farmers about the machines and mechanization of the services provided by the government or the institution. Next, the, when the farmer uh, grow their produce or anybody wants to purchase the produce, there is uh, no provision or not the approach about, they don't know where to store, what is the warehousing, if the warehousing is beneficial or not, which crop have what protocol, protocol means, every crop have their own protocol. Protocol about temperature, because this uh, crop A needs certain temperature, crop B needs certain temperature or the storage conditions, every crop have different protocols. So they don't know. Even so, so much, there is so much warehousing uh, people. They also don't know the protocol. They just uh, build the infrastructure because there is some loans and subsidies. And they are open to people who came there with their own knowledge. They just put in there. There is a, a, a basic structure and they can store that. So the, the small marginal farmers don't uh, never avail this kind of services. And the procurement and processing services, if we talk about that, we need value-added services, uh, government uh, uh, ads about, uh, have so many ads and awareness programs about that, that do some small processing in it and village level, this and that. But this is for institutions or this is for corporates, this is for startups. I can say that if I have a company, then this is for business people, but this is not for farmers. If a, if, if a small farmer think or he try to avail the service or try to think about that, I just want to build my own basic processing unit for that. And there is so much formality and the very, I mean, you can say that, that the, the process to avail the services and to, to approach that, that is, the process is so 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 disturbing for the farmers. They, they can't do that. And uh, that ease of just we talk about that ease of business. This is not like that. This is very difficult. And the, the most best and the biggest thing is the market linkage at farm gate. The market linkage means there is no demand, proper demand information for the farmers. There is no proper supply. And how can they supply which quality they need to grow? So, so if, if they grow some good crop, but there is no market, the crop is finished and then they force to sell it or throw it. Sometimes they throw it. If that, just like then sometimes the tomato or the onion that goes to 50 pesa per kg, one rupees per kg. So they are forced to throw it away. And if they go to the mandi to sell their produce, then there is very small. The, the amount is very less. Even the you can uh, understand about the less means they are in loss. Their production cost is five rupees, but they get three rupees. Their production cost seven rupees, they get five rupees. And it means, or sometimes they can, they get only six to seven rupees, same price. So there is zero uh, profit, even loss, because their time and everything is completely uh, waste in this kind of. So these are the basic understanding from our side. Where we can say that. that it's, uh, so how can the once we go to the farmer training program, and this is all about the, the skill and the uh, identification of every individual farmer, the, the new employment options for us. So this, this all kind of uh, point that we need to any startup, anyone jump, try to jump in that, any institution want to build a sustainable agriculture or sustainable agriculture establishment. And that they need to point out on these kind of things. This is a step where the equipment, machinery, procurement, where asking processing packaging, everything is very important for the farmers. It is not, they are not, uh, the, the farming community is not uh, able to uh, move on or they, they, they never, that's, that's why people uh, uh, 
going away from the farming because this everybody is saying that a farmer never says to their boys or their children that just just do the farm they always say that find some any other option this is the last option we have because there is no they think that there is completely not uh, un, uh, profitable this thing is not profitable so we what we do is if i say that, that we we start some uh, we build something in the on the ground so i just i just share that how we are means covering these problems we are we are uh, ident- we already identification is there but how to solve these problems so i am sharing some points uh, or something which is uh, we build on ground and on the ground when we the this is because when we started that our mission is only one that we are need, we need to organize this not completely an organized sector so we work for that on the co what we, what we have done and what we are doing even we are not finished yet so this is not a small uh, goal uh, i think uh, in my life if, if we achieve this then it's good it, it means i i justify my life fair enough because this is not for the two, two three five years goal that you can achieve yes we, we can uh, build and we achieve some milestones which is there uh, till date we already done uh, 29 pilot projects there is 22 failed but the learning is big we learned that. but seven are successful and on that seven we can say that they are, we are able to organize this completely and open sector this is our core where we build our physical model because our our project is not digital or not only physical side we are clubbing it because agriculture is not only technical technology is too long way so only technology can't do that anything and without technology you can't scale it or you can't manage it on this uh, on, on, on you can say that on big picture so this is our core what we are doing it we are doing it we are managing it just like a corporate structure run we are we managing the farmers portfolio portfolio in terms of that just as people or as a corporate structure or as in in education that uh, or in any training everybody is uh, learning that how to manage the portfolio how to manage the client and what is the market just like that we manage we build farmers portfolio individual farmers portfolio based on what based on their assets their land their equipment the livestock and what is the livelihood what is the what is the current status of that he is a small and marginal he have so many he have cycles or he have any equipment machines or he has any any kind of uh, but how big is the family what is it how many the children or how what is the education background of the farmer in the family what uh, how many children and what is their uh, status of the uh, their education everything that is means complete portfolio second we cover that that is complete market portfolio and market portfolio means what is the consumer requirement where is the consumer direct consumer available yes. we already running our subscription based uh, supply chain in ncr so that is for b to c second is that if you can say that we are we are uh, call it farm to consumer farm to business retailer and trader a big whole chain of big uh, buyers so we 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 making portfolio for these entities so what is their capacity which crop and which commodity they are dealing with like uh, if, so that uh, buyers some buyers are focused on potato some tomato some are some grain some are some pulses or spices so we uh, building that portfolio connecting that that according to portfolio we connecting them with the farmers just like that everybody is interlinked this uh, this core is interlinked with the fourth step the third step is crop portfolio management crop means everybody who start in this they need to understand every crop 
every produce of the farmer side because there is integrated farming there is not one crop you can deal with there is so many crops out there the seasons different seasons so we are building completely crop portfolio management and uh, product uh, protocol management that each and every product have their own protocol just like uh, that as i earlier told you that that the, the, the their temperature their shelf life you know, every, every crop every product product have their own protocol so we just define in every crop uh, protocol product protocol management then location wise potential production then uh, when i go to the assam there is, there is that fruit and there is kiwi and there is some uh, you can say that Fig too. There is there is so many things. There are different crops. When I go to Rajasthan, there are different. So every state, every area have their own own specialty of crop. So location wise, so what is the potential crop which is the suitable for the area? So we need to focus on that. I don't need to focus on that. How to grow apple in the Rajasthan, which is so people are trying it, but that is not appropriate for us as per our understanding. That is not means there is no sense. If you want to grow apple, you need to go to hillside. Or you need to go to the cold places. <coughs> Sorry. And yeah, so so we or location wise, potential production wise, that as per that understanding, we are growing the crops and everything. In the first fourth point, which is completely untouched, that is agriculture employment. And we call it green collar portfolio management because there is white collar job, there is blue collar job, but not green collar, not green collar, and the green collar is belongs to the agriculture because there is we are almost seventy percent people and the small labors and the, 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 the un uh, you can say that uh, the, the poor people. They are depending on the agriculture ecosystem. They are belongs to the agriculture or agri business sectors. Some are working for the farm. Some are working for some uh, some processing. But uh, some processing the raw material, some producing the raw material, some packaging the raw material. But they are interlinked and they are working for that. But that is that is completely unorganized. There is not any associate. There there is not not uh, can say that that any management or any place. Where that people can find the skilled people, skilled labor, and the skilled labor. If there is, I have some skill in horticulture, or I have some skill in any vegetable or crop, a specific crop. But I don't have the who 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 are going to pay for my skills. There is, but other side there is farmers. They want to grow some good products, but they don't have any kind of. Uh, they 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 don't. Achieve that point where you can say that okay, uh, I can find the appropriate labor or appropriate management person from here. So it it's very uh, I can say that uh, this is our core. So we are Ubra. Uh, this is a little uh, big picture. So uh, I am not going in that deep because we are uh, building a, a very unique. Uh, platform where that is dedicatedly for the agriculture employment and this core when then we build these four cores then there is uh, some active business verticals almost 14 to you can say that is 13 business verticals uh, come out from that uh, all from that that the core so it's it's Start from the farmer finance. That's our active business vertical. Uh, when we uh, complete the profiling for the farms and farmers and the whole processes, then we provide them the farmer finance. That this is this is completely a, a, a startup people. We we, we uh, this is a, a very uh, since you can say big field for many many startups who are only focused on the fintech. So we we provide these startups or these small and few big entities, everybody who targeting the farmers and farms, farmers. So so uh, for that, this is small microfinance, some insurance, some loan, some subsidy, some warehousing, receipt loan. These these information the farmers not 
able to get it. Everybody go there to sell their produce. They they are they are sell their product. Product means any if uh, uh, somebody is uh, selling some loan, some insurance. Everybody is going to sell it. We are there for the farmers and the startups in between to to create a transfer thing that what the farmer needs and who are going to fulfill that need. And the both ways, what is the benefit of that? What is the if if there is any kind of long term or short term issue? And what is that? So we are providing offering that thing to the, the providing the information to the farmer. Just and the next is the, the contact farming when the, because so many are people they are want to they want to do the farming there is the problem that they don't know how to do farming or where they get the uh, the land on contract or uh, some uh, institutions want to do some contract farming with the farmers but there is issue there is faith issues there is some policy issues so in that we are provide that the whole vertical to arrange the farmers, the the provide the information and the push to farmers, uh, or the means we are clubbing them. We are uh, uh, connecting the both parties on a fair platform, where how to do contract farming, which is the area, because uh, some area is good for the tomato, some is good for potato, just like that. Some is good for apple, or some is good for chili, just like that. So we we our uh, base work uh, is uh, provide the complete information to both parties, and same like that, just just land deals that who is want to if anybody want to agriculture land on rent or sale and purchase as machine that that the vertical is Kisan Bajar, just like livestock. Since these all are only we build the profiles, portfolios, and the all portfolio explore with so many verticals, which is every uh, some institutions or some uh, startups are working on only livestock. Some are only rural this uh, skill development program. Some are providing online education. Few of them working on the waste management. So just like that. So some some renewable energy, some food processing, some uh, herbal health, just just herbal textiles. So because we these are uh, on time to time when we work on ground level, we find that the food processing, value added products, everybody everything is interlinked. You can't say that one thing is just uh, I I I want to buy some vegetables or deal in vegetables, but I don't need to know the farmers. So this is not. Uh, the sustainable business model. This is just normal. You can say that you are a trader to buy, purchase, and sell. There is not. Uh, you can't say that you can control it or you can sustain with that. So, so we work on that. So, but the key steps is we are organizing the middlemen. We are not eliminating them. Everybody is saying they remove the middlemen. You no, know, you can't do that. I don't think so that anybody can remove the middlemen. Nobody can. We yes, because I can replace it. Replace it by myself. If I have technology, I have backup. I have some money. I have any 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 resources more than uh, another one. So I can replace it. Replace by me that I avail. I, I got his work. I capture his work and I just start doing that work for from my side. But I can't eliminate them. Nobody can uh, remove the middleman. Understand this. This is very important. Yes, we can organize them, but we can't eliminate them. We can't remove them. We can replace them. Yes. If you are ready to become a artia or you middleman, then you can go for that. But you you can't say that I can organize it. I can do the technology use, and there is no need to any middleman. No, that is not possible. It it there is should be anybody anyone to complete that task, which is from the farm to consumer or the place. Which is, Unique agree, unique agree, 
wallet with performance based economic credit rating of each stakeholder providing timely financial assistance I means uh, the farmer who work with us we provide them we are not going with the sibils and the the, the banks who uh, uh, give the rating system as us no we work with them just like my credibility with my friends with my uh, old associates what is that that is not depends on the market that it depends on the face to face so uh, we develop agri wallet which is completely performance based on economic trading credit rating that is with uh, how what is the their performance uh, how big or small business they are doing how their business growing depends on that our financial uh, the, the backup we are providing to the farmer which is on uh, grow like that we integrate farm farmers vendors traders every everybody and consumers even on community farm supported farming uh, our supply chain is based on community supported agriculture where the consumer subscribe the farm subscribe the service on fixed price and the other side what happened the other side that that consumer know what uh, is the uh, the product from where it came from who is the producer and which area and if they want to experience the farming then it's open for them so this is all uh, since uh, we are working on things fat full efficient flow and linkages through cutting rate as technology and the the whole the target and the, the thing is which is workable or this is general because it's one stop solution for farming subsistence farmer farmer the re, because there is real time data analysis this is completely completely transparent and traceable from the uh, cropping pattern how every acre of plant and this is uh, we are using technology cutting edge technology which is uh, to, based on the all real information which is completely we are not uh, using public data or we are not focusing on that uh, that data gain no we are building our own data slowly slowly but it's it's completely organic data and our technology work on that because in the technology when we talk about ai or blockchain this and that they are not ai means artificial intelligence when we talk about artist word the word start from artificial it's artificial so it's built by someone so ai work on the data how organic is your data the result of ai is depends on that if your data is 90% accurate the ai result is 90% if your data is 50% then the result is 50% if the your data is 100% accurate then the ai work 100% and the ai work on what what the parameters you want to follow what is your target what the result you want from the ai you need to specify each and everything in transparent manner so that's why we and when we talk about transparency in data the blockchain is very smart and good technology for that as blockchain we are not uh think about because when we talk about blockchain everybody think of oh, okay, crypto some cryptocurrency or some bitcoin no that is the technology which is used by those old platforms of those currency but the blockchain means the transparent system the data moves on complete traceable uh, with complete traceability and the complete total transparency so this is uh, uh the the benefits of that that with the all the technology farmer receive all real time information about soil input pre and post harvest management and marketing and everything on real time so they they there is one step ahead they they can get the pre knowledge there is uh, when we talk about technology technology tell us what is the market where is the market what is the supply chain how to work it how to manage it how to can track it the shipments and everything this is a technology so it will help to manage it and and the, again the next the, what is where is the financial part what is the financial part when we do business we, there there should be some financial uh, traceability there should be some some complete benefits 
so we we doing it with our digital payment system that the government promoting it with platform that doing it the digital platform they provide the services and we link that with our micro credit uh, schedules or micro credit our platform that where as that digital payment happens our micro credit uh, the, the parameters will check that okay this guy belongs to uh, have the capacity 10000 rupees or this is have 1 lakh rupees or 10 lakh just like that so that on the base of that data or that portfolio we can provide them as per their need the input backup because farmer all the time farmer don't have the money to buy the produce buy the raw material buy the inputs but they need there is more small window in the agriculture one thing is very clear that the best the most uh, critical time frame if any business have that is agriculture because there is very fixed time window. you can stop any factory for a moment or for a time being or start whenever you want it you can slow or uh, fast the, the production process and everything you can do in any other business i can shut my office five days close and i can start whenever i want as i can manage it you can manage it from as pandemic came there is the uh, work from home fixed system technology and online things every everything is started everything is changed but can you do that with agriculture no you can't do that with agriculture you can't do agriculture without physical intervention and without covering the time if i have i harvest today and i have sowing time only next 20 days and i have only 20 days after that the sowing is means, means there is no use of any seed sowing because there is time frame for everything so on based on that but farmer required on to have very fixed time frame they need some input they don't have money they depends on the big lender they they, they, they beg for some money then they uh, the lenders provide the money on their own condition their hard condition which is completely exploited for the farmer so that how we work we work with that as per their performance as per their uh, credit limit with our with our platform we give them backup to buy or get any input on the right time without money because if they don't have money we provide them little credit no problem at all you just start it you just cover your uh, the timeline you just do it you just do the farm never stop it do it we will give you the backup and it you can give us it's, it's my you can say that it's low cost micro credit facility or especially for input requirements for every individual farmer it's, 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 it's provide responsible financial education we provide them that how the credit facility is benefit for it and how can it will be a, 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 you can say that it will harmful for you if you not uh, track your financial system or you are not aware and you are not Uh, as a, a responsible creditor, then it will be harm you on in terms of uh, interest, in terms of penalty. So you need to understand and what is the insurance. Everything we we provide them the financial education on that. This our unique agreement is for completely all financial support. This this segment is work only for financial. So this is a agreement for base and focus on fintech. we are enabling farmers based on their data to so what is the warehousing what is the collateral they have what is the their the capacity of their collateral so which company can provide some finance for them what is which company can provide some limits to the farmer what is the government provide the kisan card credit card so uh, what is the eligibility so we provide these information on the ground farm to the farmers the small and marginal farmers especially the creating credit worthiness to personal limits in their micro if 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 a farmer work in a proper manner if they work on a good honesty and the hard work then the performance we we provide them the backup for that the connecting bench 
and farmers to provide uh, and some banks need the customers but they how to approach them the, the customer acquisition cost is very high and and second thing is they even don't know how to approach the small people small and margin farmers so this uh, so so we we connect them we provide them with it. all government loan subsidy this is the this is the thing which we integrate with this system and we provide them on the ground this is physically we are doing from so long now we are converting everything on digital and hope very soon it, since this is our uh, digital uh, structure we call it rural like we built the food center a craft center physical center where one side is physical and other side is digital there is it from farmer side pre and post harvest management you can say that procurement and processing storage where this process and to the market we require farmers we require middlemen and again we require customer this is farmer acquisition and uh, we we provide a dedicated uh, uh, support person to the farmers in the rural area in that look same area on the ground we called it uh, executive farmer who is a who is a local graduate or local farmer basically no matter the education or he is graduate or not no matter what is the experience and what is the skill he has that is uh, big for us so the, uh, he is in charge there we train them properly so that the local person get the employment and the people who interact with them the local people interact with the same community same area they are, they are more comfortable to discuss their problems with them so we are trying to build the, the lo local uh, economy so in that the farmer can connect with us and we uh, analyze the data of the farmer one to one discussion is available there we connect them the subject matter expert if the farmer has some specific problem we connect them with that that specific the, the expert and uh, so in in this whole process our uh, offline and online we are doing all analysis and so we are working on that data and we go till the market so that the farmer the whole process from inputs where i'm saying the processing what is the requirement on the base of that requirement we can do the best we can sustain it <coughs> so the one side is this uh, you can say that in this uh, chart that one side is rural agri fintech support center the craft center uh, uh, i told you the other side is urban agri supply chain one side the one thing is only the cities the rural side their focus is only from for farmer side the ground support the warehousing the processing the grading unit the what is input everything that is the rural side and the urban side is, this is all for supply chain what is the farm requirement of customers and the from customers we reverse the system to the rural support and urban to rural that uh, there is a uh, re uh, customer raise their demand they, they 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 ask what they need and we just connect as per their requirement to the back to the source this is this is how uh, our platform we are integrating that some financial institutions some uh, some you can say that uh, some service provider because because we need to provide the services the finance training employment the processing the market everything everything for the farmer but other side that logistic uh, some institutions or some company that that uh, oem some service service provider in terms of banking or in terms of any assistance or any any one yeah this is only one this warehousing labs and r and d so where they go for their soil testing and this and that everything we are connecting all them so that it will be one stop solution for farmers and how we creating that employment this is very uh, you need to everybody just need to get attention here that we are build a very uh, smart uh, process where the rural economy and everybody everybody will grow uh, together how that 
our support center have one agriculture officer which is trained by us we, we provide them all who is experienced who is basically you can say the principal of that part next is executive farmer we build the terms because there is no employment system for agriculture so we, we the senior uh, the farmer who knows the farming who knows the area and who can manage or who can supervise the thing basically the, you can uh, the people call it supervisor we call it executive farmer the executive farmer is the, the, the base of executive farmer and he is allotted or you can say that uh, there are almost 10 uh, field advisor field advisor are the Uh, you can say that little uh, some uh, less experience in agriculture some uh, less education but they uh, are semi skilled oh, so we or little if, if there is there, there is some skill problem we provide them the the, the basic focus skill uh, training so that they can behave or they can work as a field advisor so every executive farmer can act to 10 field advisor and every field advisor we allowed them 100 farmers so the field advisor work is not here and there they are directly connected as a community as a family with 100 farmers each and every farmer know that, that who is the contact person for us and the field advisor know that that this is the 100 people i just need to connect with them i just need to monitor them i just need to provide the services which is provided by the platform i just need to push it and i just need to assure that the services will reach to the end of the farm so this is a complete uh, system which is everybody is connected 100 farmers standard farmers work with field advisor field advisor provide them the services they grow they grow then field advisor get the incentives and field advisor uh, get the employment or you can say livelihood and again field advisor then field advisor is with their senior executive farmer executive farmer provide and manage the whole administration and the structure and the everything which is uh, to back the field advisor so so this structure work like that this is our, our, our subscription uh, subscription model where the customer just means we are not sell our any produce in kilos or, or uh, this is product is this much kilo for 5 rupees to 10 rupees kilo market price every day is market price is fluctuating so we are uh, our supply chain is different from every that kind of uh, structure we uh, provide a subscription based model where a consumer subscribe monthly subscription fixed service just like that you can say that inside that. for example 3500 rupees per month that is starter class so in that basket you can get eight to ten types of vegetables box on almost the size of this is 70 70 kg plus you have the 40 plus vegetable varieties to choose and it's every fourth day you get the one basket at Uh, the customer get their home so it means they don't need to go to the market in the fixed price so if there is market price is high or go anywhere so customer have no no uh, any issue with that because uh, there is not fluctuating in the terms of pricing other side this is called pre harvest trading when a customer and when one customer come on the platform and subscribe the service and pay 3500 rupees per month it means he purchase almost 50 kg vegetables up front in advance so if 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 the market the basket size is 7 kg and i provide seven deliveries in a month every fourth day and then seven or eight deliveries per month then on seven deliveries almost 50 kg so these 50 kg sold and once i uh, the the product is sold then other side the farmer is very secure that his produce is already sold before harvest so he grow for the consumer so uh, consumer demand raise the demand choose what they want to grow or what they want to eat and other side farmer will grow for the consumer that they, they don't need to go 
market that market up and down this this is very beneficial in terms of that this is our training module some we we build our own specially designed just with agri entrepreneurship management and training program for the farming community where we provide the some basic training for them that what is the entrepreneurship how to uh, manage the assets and resources how to work together build a team what is the work skill what is the command area assessment what is your command somebody is best in horticulture somebody best in uh, grain or somebody just like best in driving or managing machine so they need to assess their capacity just like that that we have some modules till the accounts and even uh, some financial and everything so so small small steps so this this is uh, because these all steps drive to the farmer to the beneficiary uh, uh, towards sustainable uh, establishment because because there is our target that customer you can say that, that what is the basic business model that business model is very simple because we are not the came from any other other movement like we are just trying to organize it we are trying to all uh, organize the all available resources so there is farm level uh, cost reduction so agri infrastructure development that advanced farming method we are using it's controlled farming cluster based farm pooling farm gate assistance so it will uh, reduce the uh, cost and other side the, the our targeted customer first thing the farming community is our customer because they are producer and customer both other side the our the btc supply chain that we can call it subsequent that we our targeted customer is upper middle class and upper class and and our corporate some corporate executives doctors government officers and if there is small retailers that our b2b supply chain is for that we are not handling operations on that thing this is connecting for that this is work we are working on very our in house services are very niche and very focused just like subscription and in in our system it's balanced demand and supply that is pre harvest trading module that every the scheduled delivery to reduce transportation cost because we are not supplying or every 2 hours or 3 hours or today tomorrow no we are supplying to consumer in every fourth day seven times in a month means we almost save 23 day of transportation so balance and quality and and production as per demand and our revenue stream is coming Uh, farming subscription model, farm to business deal. Uh, some old farmers, old farmers means some the farmers who connect with us from earlier, the, the relationship is a little long, and they who who is benefited from this our program and our platform, they are on board with their, they are also paying us. We charge them one rupee per day. because in our system because this the name is pranam kisan so we are uh, we are not we are organizing them we are doing business we are not uh, doing charity this subscription is to show each and every uh, fellow startup so everybody who who is uh, behave uh, like in the terms of means you can say that they, they, they feel that farmer is on their mercy or the farmer is very poor no we are not think like that we are saying that farmer is pro a producer and we are doing business with them we are pro doing business with them so we give honor them we are not uh, be, uh, give them a feeling like beggars or, or some charity we are doing pure business but our business ethic and uh, uh, we, we drive it just like that uh, we we are we doing business but with positive social impact we are not doing business in, in the terms of to make food or some corn or or, or some thing like that fraud or no. 
or some just sales or completely economic focus that just sell it no matter the what is the impact no we are doing business with positive function impact so give honor we we give uh, we charge farmers every farmer one rupee per day so that farmer can feel that i pay you so you are bound to give me the service and we are we are you know, proud feel proud that farmer respect our this thing and we respect them and other side is this is pure business that on business side we are you know normal supplies we are just commission 2% some 3% 4% some kind of uh, some inputs or some supply this <coughs> sorry so so this is basically structured when we design any agri startup or any work because we uh, as i told you that we have done so many pilots what is our uh, understanding that you should uh, from very first day everybody should define their investment and their targeted system no nobody is doing r and d on their own there no nobody is uh, providing the best dedicated finance for the advice we have 10% of our budget only for the advisory only for the r and d and innovations so what is the new if you don't know if you don't uh, move with the time then you you will it's uh, it's harmful it, you 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 can't uh, reach where you want to go or you you can't grow where uh, with the uh, extreme speed so and technology technology is very important for technology is uh, 30% of our basic we are dedicated for the technology but administration and operations and everything is almost 45% we are taking over marketing and pr where we are focused on 12% on this side. so just like that this is our uh, basic structure we where uh, we work and this is our uh, system in pranam khan where we can say that uh, we are trying to build a sustainable agriculture ecosystem this is uh, not only for uh, i can say that uh, where is the technology and how the technology is uh, working in our system somewhere uh, something is more you can say that uh, just a minute point yes sir so so in agriculture the artificial intelligence we are using we there is new innovation everybody should uh, everybody to check what is the new in the we, we need to aware about the market system market scenarios what is going on who is doing what what is uh, the, what is the feasibility of their thing we, we don't don't need to just blindly follow the thing so i i work like that we are working in just like this uh, like this is can go and go and this is a long way to go but uh, we are creating small milestones and small stones will give us very very we are i can say that that, uh, that this is our motivation when we find some some growth and farmer side and rural side so so it it's all work like that so i just i can conclude it that it's uh, if I, anything i need to if anybody ask anything i can say that i can answer it but this is how we are working on and it's this is for everybody who is listening it and for thank you so much just agriculture who just uh, provide me this opportunity to interact with the and i am open for everyone anyone can collaborate with us we can uh, even help each other we can join hands with that because this task is not small this is not for one company or one organization who can say that i am the unicorn in the... no no this in the agriculture sector nobody is unicorn this is only the pick a place to sustain the agriculture sector this is very big thing and everybody should work together then only we can achieve the sustainability in agriculture thank you so much
thank you sir thank you so much for the useful knowledge to us uh, there are some queries from the participants uh, i will be asking one by one so the first question is what services does pranam kisan provide to the farmer committee uh, i just explain it that pranam kisan is providing soil to sell our our base thing is soil to sell means we provide the farmers who farmer uh, any farmer who want to avail or who want any kind of assistance from what even from to understand their soil after that what is that they need if they need any assistance from the input side what crop they need to grow how they manage the pre harvest post harvest or even processing and everything and and after that how can they produce the quality produce and where is the market so till the market link is we provide these all assistance and all services to the farmers and also integrate with the agriculture employment system where i already explained in my presentation that we are building an agriculture employment mechanism where uh, the the the, uh, the farmer the poor farmers or anybody who, who want to do farming but they don't have land or any kind of uh, business in agriculture sector they can join as employee they can work and they can build their own system we can help them to you can say that this is uh, uh, labor to owner system means the, they can start anybody can start from the labor but we give them the mechanism where they can perform and rise and go build their own self sustainable system so this is uh, our service this okay so sir so thank you for the session uh, a very good uh, evening to all of all the participants uh, and sir and thank you thank you everyone we link to uh, arrange movements with thank you sir to all the participants thank you